This is at home with Miss Joan, and I wanted to document what it's like to have total knee replacement surgery. You see, I had that on March the 16th. I had my right knee totally replaced, and uh, what we did was we documented the journey along the way, and you'll see little video clips of uh, my progression. This is at, at home with Miss Joan. Well, I guess it's not at home with Miss Joan. I'm in the hospital. I had a total knee replacement uh, yesterday, and so far, so good. <laughs> we checked into the hospital yesterday morning at 8 o'clock, and that I was the third one, and I had surgery. They started, I, they come got me at 12 o'clock, and uh, did the surgery, and so far, I haven't had any pain. They've got it all full of, I guess, blocks and shots and stuff. Preacher was here through the surgery, and then he swapped, and my daughter stayed with me through the night. The good Lord has just supplied everything that I need. I have, uh, I've got up twice, and I haven't walked any length yet. They're coming after me here in a little bit. We're going to have some sur uh, some surgery, excuse me. We're going to have some therapy. I hope, I hope, I hope I get to go on this afternoon. I'm really planning on it, but so far, so good. I appreciate all the prayers, and for long, I'll be back at, at home with Miss Joan firing up that stove, but Preacher's going to do a little cooking and my daughter and I'm gonna enjoy every minute of them taking care of me. First time walking, Miss Joan can do it. It's all in your attitude. <laughs> all right, look at that. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go right on out the door and go home. They won't let me. <laughs> well, where is the coldest part of it? Well, it all flows through here, so. This is part poop here I didn't know. It ain't no ice in that thing. So, picture uh, to picture, yeah. Yep. Okay. Same here, same here. Okay. Uh, these go with the straps down. And I usually, so this fits on top, so where they have the band or crease is going to go right on the knee. Okay. Uh, so you have uh, essentially three functions. You have cold, you have compression. Yeah. Blue so, is the ice. So this one, if you turn that on, that'll be for the ice. This is compression. And then you just press start. Yeah. I don't know. I had my knee surgery on Wednesday. And I came home yesterday, Thursday, and while I was at the hospital taking my physical therapy, I was able to do some steps. I haven't done steps of any kind in years and years and years. She even took me to the stairwell of the hospital and showed me that I could do them. I was like amazed. And it's really sore today, I won't kid you. And uh, this is like Wednesday, Thursday, we came home Thursday. This is Friday. I'm waiting on my home help to arrive and my PT person. And this is what it looks like. They told me to keep it um, bandaged up until I see the doctor. We can. And uh, anyway, I'm plugging along one day at a time. Got two awesome caregivers, uh, Ricky and Jordan. Uh, these pants right here I ordered off of Amazon. I don't get a kickback from them. But they've been really nice. They unsnap on both sides when somebody has like knee surgery. And then you just snap them back down. Because be honest, I can't bend this leg to pull my pants on. And so these things are awesome. I really do like these things. I got two pair. Got a black pair and a gray pair. I think they was about kind of pricey for me, $30 a pair. But still, I think I'm really going to enjoy them in the days ahead when I'm having all of this therapy. That's where we're trying to get it straight. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Hold about 30 seconds. Uh -huh. And so if I push back on the toes, it makes it a little bit more aggressive. If I let it go, let's see how that's a little bit easier. Here. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, about 30 seconds and ease it down. Turn. <laughs> you know where that's hurting at over on the other side. Yeah, make me <laughs> having to bear weight on that opposite leg. That's why I want you holding on with your arms. Don't try to do it without it. When preachers have to move my therapy, I'm supposed to be, oh, hanging on to this uh, bar here and lifting my knee up. I'll show it to you. 
you know everybody wants to show you their scar. <laughs> Watch my incision thing. It is swelled. My ankle swelled. Everything swelled. But it's getting there. It was last Wednesday. And we're in here in the kitchen. I'm not cooking. But I'm trying to do my leg exercises. And he has to watch me or I cheat. <laughs> he has to watch me that make sure I'm doing my right knee. Or sometimes I'm exercising my left knee. Just to get the counts in. And hoping... <laughs> And he won't notice. Therapy's coming to my house right now for the first two weeks. And then after that, I'm supposed to go to what they call outpatient therapy. And we're getting through it one day at a time. Just thank you for this little video clip. And I'm going to keep on doing my exercises. Okay. Same day here. I'm supposed to be learning how to walk with this walker. Hey, you know he's misorganized. Let's take her a bag on here to put all my junk in. I'm junkless right now. But I got a bunch of it I put in there. But anyway, here I go. Round right the dining room table. Whew. Practicing my walking. I'm telling you what, when I get this new knee going, it's going to be wonderful. Okay, we're out here on my back porch now. Y'all never really see anything but my kitchen, do you? <laughs> Well, I love this back porch and backyard, and I wanted to, I haven't done steps in years and years. My knee wouldn't let me. Well, this was too wide for me to hang on from side to side, so a preacher came in here and he shored me up a wonderful step holder, and now I can practice steps. Watch. They teach us in the therapy classes to go down with the bad, which down, bad, Okay, and up with the good. So that's my bad knee and I'm going down. I can't believe that I can do this. When they showed me this at the hospital, that I could do this, <laughs> I about had a hallelujah fit. Man, I haven't done this in forever. And I thank Jesus. I thank the Lord for all he's done to bring me this far in my recovery. I hate for y'all to see my backside, but I'm going to turn around and show it to you because I'm going back up these steps. Like I said, they said go down with your bad leg, which is my surgery leg, and up with the good. Sometimes I just reach up here and I just see. Could I do this someday? Yeah, I can someday. Not today. But I'm working on it. Now, when I view this video in my rear end, it's so big I can't hardly stand it, then I may not show it to y'all. <laughs> anyway, that's one time. And I'm going to tell him that I'm going to go down these two or three more times so I can meet my goals for today. And we do this twice a day, our exercises, because I surely do want to keep up with Preacher and walk all the places he walks. Who knows? I might be going up one of them hunting trees. Get in that ladder, oh, that ladder stand he has one of these days. We'll see. And we're in my doctor's office fixing to have my first follow-up appointment. Excuse me. After the surgery, here it is. I think today he's going to take this dressing off for the first time. We'll look at the scar. Take the staples out or whatever I got, zip line. Anyway, I dread that part because I don't like pain. We just discovered that this shirt's been on me on about every video we've made, but that's just a sign that it's real comfortable. I got a lot of pretty shirts that I wear on here, but most of them are not mine. <laughs> I borrow them from my, doc from my doctor. <laughs> well, I borrow them from my daughter. Anyway, we'll let you know how this turns out. Well, this is at home with Miss Joan, and I thought I'd give you a little update on the knee surgery. Uh, I'm headed today with my walker. I'm going for my first outpatient therapy. I had home help here at the house for three weeks. The surgery was March the 16th. The doctor twice already. I saw him last on April the 7th, and they took the bandage off. So here's my knee and how it's healing. I measured that thing. It's eight inches. <laughs> From here to here, that little thing down there is something different that they they did during the surgery. But anyway, I guess I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm going to try to go over there today to outpatient therapy with a good attitude 
and give this knee a good working out because I sure do want to get back to normal. I'm uh, resting and doing little exercises as I can and I'm fixing to start my outpatient and uh, it's just a few miles down the road and it may work so good I just walk back home. I don't know. We'll see. my six weeks checkup with my total knee replacement doctor and I guess I could start out by showing you my scar an 8 inch scar I showed you a while back see it looks really good according to him <laughs> and uh, so what I told him was hey it's six weeks but it still hurts so I just want to be real honest with my YouTube friends it still hurts and it feels like it's got a tight band around it. I called it a tourniquet or something. It feels like it's got a tight band around it right here. But all the swellings come up. It just swells right here now. He said all that was normal for being at six weeks and that still keep putting ice on it and resting it and doing walking and I still keep going to my therapy two days a week. They're really working with me and teaching me new things to try. My right knee so that's the one pushes the gas pedal when you drive. So I asked him about driving and he said I could start back driving. You know, you gotta have that reflex to jump from the gas pedal to the brake. And so I'm gonna start practicing my, my driving. My re reflection, I don't know the right word for that, but the amount that you can bend it, well, they go by therapy. If you can stand straight, very straight with your knee, absolutely straight, they call that zero. Well, they had me at zero straightness uh, at the last therapy, which that's good. And then another thing they always measure is the degree that your knee will bend. And of course, if you're sitting in a chair, it bends at, you know, makes a 90, it's a perfect L. And my last therapy, I measured at 115. So that means that I could bring it back, you know, further than just sitting in the chair. It's kind of sore today because we've been to the doctor and we walked for the first time I made my first I went somewhere extra in six weeks and that we walked into Walmart and then I would come out and went to the car. So I, I'm kind of sore. But anyway, I go back to my doctor in six weeks when I'm at the three month mark. And I wanted to tell y'all what he said. He said, oh, for me not to get discouraged that I'm doing really good, that in three months, the average patient is at 75% healed. And then it takes up to a year for them to get to 100% healed. So for me to just suspect some of these uh, aches and pains and soreness and little pains coming from weird places. So I'm trying and I've come a long ways from the day of surgery uh, in March until now. Week seven of my knee, total knee replacement and I'm practicing steps and they taught us, you know, to go down with our surgery leg and up with our good leg. But I'm trying to le learn how to do steps like a regular person does left right so i'm gonna try it going up this is the first day that i've got out here and got this done so <laughs> y'all see that because down seems harder to me <laughs> but we'll see okay bad leg good leg bad leg good leg see that <laughs> I mean, I've been coming up the steps holding on for dear life for a long time. But just anyway, here we go. Did y'all say that? I cannot tell you how happy I am. taking my knee therapy in the pool water and uh, I saw on a video where somebody had got them some flippers and that made the water more resistant and helped your knee so I got me some I'm gonna show you only once I could find look like a frog <laughs> <See him. laughs> I can hardly 
stand up to show you one. But anyway, my therapy today. See me stomping. Oh, it does make a difference. I see the resistance against the water. I'm just stomping around here in the water. I don't know if you can see these through the bottom, can you? <laughs> and that is going to be my therapy for today on my knee. And uh, I've been blessed to get to take my therapy in the pool water this summer. And this is something new I'm trying. I just keep looking for new things to get this knee working. Look at that scar looking so good over here. I'm going to have me a big time out here playing with my new frog slippers. To <laughs> my new frog flippers today. If you've watched the video until now, then you've watched my progression over several weeks and uh, three to four months. Well, I just wanted to talk to you right here at the very end about uh, to encourage you if you are uh, facing knee surgery and uh, tell you some things that I went through and just give you some of my experiences. And um, the main thing is uh, you need to have confidence in your doctor and his team. And I talked to a lot of my friends, and I talked to a lot of my friends that used my doctor, and I got everybody's opinion. But it all boils down to, do you have confidence in your doctor? And your doctor and his team and the hospital, they will offer some uh, classes, or mine did. Take those classes. They were very informative. It just like prepared me for what I was facing and what I was gonna face at the hospital, who could stay with me, who couldn't. Just It was just wonderful, uh, those classes were. I read everything I could find, and they gave me a lot of printed material to take home with me too at the classes, and I watched all kinds of YouTube videos, and I didn't see a lot of videos out there like I'm doing, just uh, telling it to you from your heart, but I did watch everything was out, that's out there, and there are some. And so that was one of my uh, feelings of trying to do this video, was to just to try to help somebody. And they will give you pain medicines, and I'm just like you. I was heard all the horror stories about, oh, you're going to get hooked on your pain medicines. Well, uh, they monitor that. But I did have to take some nausea medicines when I took the pain meds, so you may have to, too. That's nothing to be alarmed about. And I'm not going to joke with you. It's painful, okay? I mean, you're not going to get through without having some pain, but they do monitor it with the pain meds. And then uh, it did a lot of swelling. I had two previous, what they call meniscus surgeries, but that's not anything like having total knee replacement. I learned they're totally different, and this was a lot more painful and swelling, but I want to advise you to know that you need to take the therapy. Everywhere I went, people say, take the therapy, Miss John. Well, I did. In fact, uh, I didn't go to one of the 21-day rehab hospital things. I wanted to come home. Uh, I was blessed to have two caregivers, my husband and my daughter, uh, that took care of me. But if you don't have somebody, you need to go to the 21-day uh, health care places because you do need help at home. You cannot do it by yourself. And uh, I came home and I had uh, three weeks of home health coming uh, here. It was supposed to be two, but the doctor added a week to it for some reason. And then I went after that, I immediately started up to what they call the outpatient. Uh, therapy and I went two days a week for six weeks and so both of those therapies 100% helped me and I advise you to do that. Now I, I have been thinking about uh, well I guess you saw on the video on the video clips where they gave you an ice machine and uh, it came home with me and you used it at home for quite a while. Well these things right here were a lifesaver and this is just the little ice packs that you buy you know I got these CVS but these things were a lifesaver. We would give me one. When I got tired of wrestling with that ice machine and I needed a little bit of freedom, I still needed the ice. And so we just kept a lot of these in the freezer and I would have one with me and we'd swap them in and out. But that, I never have cared for ice. I like the heating pads better, but they told me to ice it for the swelling and I followed their instructions and it really did work. Now here is just one of my tips that nobody told me what to do, but it sure did work. I just took a quilt and rolled it up, made like a roll. I've done took it apart now because I don't need it anymore. And I tied it up right here and right here because Preacher and I, I we were we talked about having separate bedrooms because he didn't want to hit my knee, but we didn't want to. And so I just we made this roll up quilt here and put it in between us. And so we 
we was able to sleep together all through my weeks of a recovery because when you've been married nearly 50 years, you're used to sleeping together. But it kept him when he rolled over. He never, ever hit my knee. Just having this little protection right here of this quilt. And so that's my tip, and I got one more. This is what you call a bed pad. I had these when Mother was here. But I put this under me because it's long and narrow, and not that I need it for like bed wetting or anything, but it helped me turn over when I couldn't turn over in that bed. This little, or you could just put a big towel up under you because there's times when that you first come home from that knee surgery, it's so hard to turn over in the bed and you need to readjust every once in a while. I'm telling you, you do. Well, I would reach and I'd grab it because it was anchored under me, see, I was laying on it and I would pull and it helped me uh, turn over. So that, that's my two tips that uh, I learned on my own. Let's see, equipment. Uh, don't be ashamed to have like a, a potty chair because those potty chairs, they got little buttons and you can push them and the legs will extend up high and it's hard to bend down on a, a regular size toilet. After this surgery, your knee don't bend as well and so just a bedside toilet is uh, wonderful to have because it lets up and down because you're going to need it on the highest setting. And then a walker, just a the standard walker, because you cannot just take off to walk and you think, oh, you can use a cane. Not in the first couple of weeks you can't. You really need that walker for safety. And they told us in the classes, take up all the throw rugs and everything because you could uh, uh, fall and trip, and that is so true. And then after a couple of weeks, then I got to progress to a cane. And I, I had that cane with me. I've got them in both cars. But... Um, it really helped to just have a little bit of a balance when you're really depending on that knee. That knee's new and it's made out of some strong stuff and it's really good and it's gonna hold you up, but it's our fears, I think, that won't let us depend on it right to start with. And then you might need like a bath chair because I'm the one, I've got a bathtub that I love, but I cannot get down in it, but I use the bath chair. And then when I could stand up and balance myself a little better, then I went to the, the shower. But just some things like that you will need. And then uh, I told you about the ice packs. And you can use a heating pad some, but you've got to ask your doctor what his opinion is of all of that. The whole point of keeping up with this video for several weeks and uh, is I hope we help somebody. I hope we help somebody that's concerned about theirs. Oh, uh, I was worried about infection. You know, nowadays you hear so much about getting a staph infection. And I was really blessed. I, I never had any problem with the infection. And this is, like I said, it's four months now. And I really was troubled about that because I'd heard of so many that had to have their knee took out. And then they waited so long and put it back in. So that part with me went really well. But I want to say to you, don't give up. Those days when I thought, oh my goodness, what in the world have I done, you know? But I just keep plugging along, do my exercises that they told me to do twice a day, and just keep plugging along and do little things. Find you some projects where you can sit down on the couch and prop that leg up. And um, I did scrapbooking and all kinds of stuff, little projects that I wrote, wrote thank you notes and encouragement notes, just anything to keep me busy. But, cause that leg will heal, the swelling will go away, the pain will subside, and you're gonna be as happy as I am because I am thrilled to death with the new knee. I tell everybody, Preacher took me to town on March the 16th and he bought me a new knee. He traded in my old knee and he made a good, good swap. And of course, they're talking about doing my other knee next year. We'll see about that. But if it turns out as good as this one did, uh, Preacher did a good deal. I hope you get me another good deal next year. Thank you so much for hanging into this video this long. I love y'all. And if you're facing day surgery, you pray about it and you do your investigative work and you go for it. Just take care of yourself and take it one day at a time. Right here, I'm talking to you from at home with Miss Joan.